Okay guys, let's see how to install a docker. So let's type docs.docker.com. I'm here from the documentation. We will choose from get docker. We would like to get the community edition and then uh, for the Linux we will choose the Ubuntu instructions. All right, so first in order to install the docker we will have to set up our repository so we will just copy uh, those packages and in a terminal we'll paste uh, uh, this line we'll type our password and uh, those packages will be installed in our uh, computer afterwards we will need to add the official gpg key of docker so we are copying the next line after the installation has been finished we can just uh, place uh, the next uh, line and uh, now we can update our um, repository with this line here okay so actually we'll be adding uh, the proper repository grabbing a uh, current uh, name of our release of ubuntu and uh, this will automatically update our packages and now we are ready to install the docker community edition and so with this line we'll install the needed packages and we see that uh, the current package of docker has no installation uh, candidates this is because we're using a, a newer version of ubuntu and uh, let's fix this problem here we see that uh, the cosmic release is uh, supported latest uh, by docker uh, so in the installation uh, command um, here in the repositories it will hard code uh, our release as uh, uh, cosmic so we'll open up again the terminal And here in the terminal, we will just make this in one line. And uh, while we are adding our repository, we will hard code uh, here cosmic. Uh, so let's see now how the installation will go. Again, uh, we will try to install the Docker packages. So we'll just copy this line here and paste it and we see that uh, we need to get 50 megabytes of archive and around 250 megabytes uh, will be needed for the installation of docker okay the installation has been finished and we can type sudo docker run and uh, let's type uh, hello world um, this will verify the installation uh, by running the hello world uh, default image uh, so hello world and uh, since we didn't have it locally it will be downloaded from the internet first and uh, then the container will run and uh, we see hello from docker and uh, the message shows that your installation appears to be working uh, correctly